Hello students, welcome to English Tutorials by Poonam Thakur, Class 12th Flamingo, Chapter Number 2, Lost Spring, Stories of Stolen Childhood by Anise Jung. Students, first I'm going to take text questions. Think as you read. What is Sahib looking for in the garbage dumps? Where is he and where has he come from? Answer. Sahib is looking for gold in the garbage dumps. Gold here means anything valuable like metal scraps, used things or stray coins and currency notes. Presently, he lives in Simapuri, which is on the outskirts of Delhi. They had come from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Question number two. What explanations does the author offer for the children not wearing footwear? Answer. The author offers various explanations given to her by the children like simply not caring to take the trouble of taking their slippers down from the shelf to wear them, not wearing footwear is a tradition and so on. However, she feels that it is simply an excuse to hide a perpetual state of poverty as many families cannot afford to buy footwear for their children. Question number three. Is Sahib happy working at tea stall? Explain. Answer. No. Sahib is not happy working at the tea stall. He is being paid rupees 800 per month and also two times meal. But his face has lost the carefree look. Now he is no more his own master. The steel canister seems much heavier than the plastic bag which he carried over his shoulders. From being a free spirited bird, answerable to none, he is no less than a bonded laborer accountable for each and every action of his. Question number four. What makes the city of Ferozabad famous? Answer. Ferozabad is famous for its Bengal industry. It is the hub of India's glass blowing industry where families have spent generations working around the furnaces, welding glass, making bangles for all the women in the land. Question 5. Mention the hazards of working in the glass bangles industry. Answer. The impoverished workers in the glass bangles industry toil in potentially hazardous working conditions while welding. The furnaces they work in have extremely high temperature and lack proper ventilation. Persistently working in low light conditions without any protective eye gear leaves them blind. Even burns and cuts are quite common. The workers are prone to ailments like lung cancer. Question number six. How is Mukesh's attitude to his situation different from that of his family? Answer. Mukesh belongs to a family of glass bangle makers in Ferozabad. Even though the children of such families usually carry on their family profession, Mukesh wants to be a motor mechanic and drive a car. Unlike his family members and others of his community, he has dared to dream. His grandmother's words about the unbreakable lineage represent the attitude they have towards their situation in life. They believe that it is their destiny to toil as bangle makers. But Mukesh dreams of better and a safer career. The resolute boy is willing to walk a long distance from his home to learn to be a mechanic. Exemplifying the saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Understanding the text, question number one. What could be some of the reasons for the migration of people from villages to cities? Answer. The main reason for the migration of people from villages to cities is the search of a better livelihood. Food, clothing and shelter are the three basic needs of all human beings. People struggle to fulfill these needs. All major cities see a continuous influx of migrants from small villages. Some come in search of job, some for education or to fulfill their dreams and make money. Poverty, lack of facilities, Natural calamities like flood, famine, personal necessities and tragedies all contribute to the migration of people from villages to the cities. Question number two. Would you agree that promises made to poor children are rarely kept? Why do you think this happens in the incidents narrated in the text? Answer. 
Yes, I agree that promises made to the poor children are rarely kept. The rich who come in contact with children from the poor sections of society or slums mostly do not resist the presence of these children, who are a nuisance for them. They see them begging, picking rags, selling small objects, polishing shoes. But there is hardly any interaction between these two opposite worlds. And if an individual or a social worker pauses to listen to them, it is more out of sense of curiosity than a social obligation. Promises made during the course of such interaction are generally thoughtless, careless suggestions, which are never meant to be fulfilled, but sow a seed of hope in the hearts of these unfortunate beings. Sahib is one such example. When the author encourages him to study and offers to open a school, it ignites a spark in him and raises his hopes. However, she does not realize the disappointment it would eventually lead to. Question number three. What forces conspire to keep the workers in Bengal industry of Rosabad in poverty? Answer. Many forces conspire to keep the workers in Bengal industry of Rosabad in poverty. Lack of education and awareness, stigma of being born in the caste of Bengal makers, vicious nexus between the sahukars, middlemen, politicians and police suppresses and oppresses the Bengal makers. They together keep them poverty stricken. The poor need a leader to guide them. Otherwise, the circumstances have imposed the baggage on the child that he cannot put down. It needs a lot of courage to go against one's caste and also to fight the vicious circle as well. Talking about the text, question number one. How, in your opinion, can Mukesh realize his dream? Answer, Mukesh was different from the others of his community. By daring to dream, he has already taken the first step towards a big change. He wants to become a motor mechanic and drive a car. He can realize this dream with determination and hard work. There might be many obstacles on his way, but a strong willpower will help him move towards the way to success. The fact that he is willing to walk a long distance in order to learn the vocation underlines his firm resolve. The only thing left for him to do is to make that first journey to that garage and request the owner to take him in and guide and direct him on his journey as a mechanic. Question number two, why should child labor be eliminated and how? Answer, children are the future of any country and like all citizens, they should also get an equal right to education. But some children due to poverty are forced to work in bangle making factories, tobacco industry, carpet weaving factories, matchstick manufacturing units, five work factories, etc. Child labor can be eliminated by strict implementation of the Child Labor Act. Public awareness should be done through print, audio and visual media. Government should provide compulsory and free education for children up to 14 years of age. Important questions. Question number one. Describe the irony in Sahib's name. Answer. Sahib's full name is Sahib Alam, which means Lord of the Universe. But in stark contrast to his name, Sahib is poverty stricken, barefoot, homeless, rag picker, who scrounges the garbage dumps of Delhi to take out a livelihood. His name is in total contrast to his very existence and is thus deeply ironical. Question number two, how is Mukesh's attitude towards his situation different from that of Sahib? Why? Answer, Mukesh belongs to a Bengal making family, but he is not content with his profession. He dares to dream of becoming a motor mechanic and driving cars. He has strong willpower and wants to achieve what he dreams about, unlike other people in his family. In contrast to this, Sahib is a rag picker who is content with his life but becomes unhappy when he gets a job at a tea stall. 
even though now he is probably earning more and on a regular basis sahib is unhappy because he has lost his independence which he had as a rag picker however sahib accepts his new situation whereas mukesh dares to want to break free from tradition this is because mukesh is more courageous and determined than sahib will ever be students don't forget to watch lecture 1 lecture 2 and mind map videos on lost spring stories of stolen childhood by anees chang thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed this session please like share and subscribe english tutorials by poonam thakur